What is going on guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we are going to be looking at Team of the Season Marino, but if you missed my first player review from earlier, it was the Team of the Season Hulk. Make sure you check that out if you're thinking of purchasing him. Now we're going to be talking about this guy, but he has had a couple of informs I think, but is he good enough? Is the Team of the Season a big upgrade? That's what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap reliable place to get your coins, check out battlelake.com. The link will be in the description and use the code DTON to get 5% off. Now this guy, I felt a lot of stuff has been upgraded from his previous version and I think everything has been upgraded from what I felt in game now if you put him in a nice little squad this guy can be very very effective as a striker or you could play him as a center attack midfielder this guy's got a lot of balanced stats that he can be played in different positions now what I really liked about him is how strong he is while you're doing skills with him, while you're dribbling with him, while you're getting past defenders, you'll see a couple of clips where Chiellini just couldn't shove him off. I think, Ch did Chiellini get nerfed in this game? I don't know, but anyway, one of my favorite goals I scored with this guy is from like midfield, seriously. I scoop turn and I'm in the center of the pitch and I just finesse it. And the curve it had on the ball, the goalkeeper actually thought it was going out, but it actually curved into the fucking goal. It was amazing. That finesse shot was simply awesome. But when it comes down to shot power and long shots, it's good. It's just not amazing. It's good. Basically, let's just say it gets the job done. This guy has awesome finishing in the penalty area as well. I think I scored most of my opportunities in the penalty area, while some of them I didn't because of mistakes by me. Now, he gets out of tight positions a lot. So you'll see one where he just scoops turns past two defenders and gets on to goal. But if his shot power or his long shots were just a bit better, it would have been a goal, but the goalkeeper saves it. Other than that, this guy has five-star skills and four-star weak foot as well. That is how balanced his stats are. He's just so awesome and very cheap. This guy has those sort of stats and he isn't going for much, 120K. I think he's actually gone below 100K. Very, very cheap player for what his stats offer. So that is all there is to it for this player review, guys. Now, I know many of you want to me to uh, review El Shomrani. I might be doing that tomorrow and De Natale. We'll see though. It depends on how much time I have. And also if I had to choose one feature that I really loved about this player rather than his previous versions, it's his strength and aggression. It seems he just seems way more stronger and that's something you definitely need in this FIFA. Strength is such an important factor in this game that this guy has just become way more overpowered for his rating. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Like, make sure you drop down in the comment section below who you would like me to review next it would really help me out because there's so many players to get through and i want to see what you guys want me to do first so hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day